Hey guys, KJ here, and I've got a repair video for you. Today, um, I did a electrical plug replacement on this old oil radiator heater. Um, so you're going to need a new length of plug cord. You want to try and stay with the same wattage and uh, maximum heat temperature as your old one. Now, my old cord was a 16-gauge 90 degrees Celsius um, heat rating cord. My replacement, it is a smaller gauge cord, but because it's newer, it's more efficient. Um, so that's kind of not going to be a problem. It's got a 105 degrees Celsius temperature rating. But, um, you know, if you're new to repairs, um, just try and stick to the same gauge, same heat setting. If you can, it'll help you out tremendously. So anyway, so you're going to need that to be you know, anywhere from four to five feet long um, because you need to keep this heater at least three feet away from everything so you don't accidentally catch something on fire. So make sure that's plenty long enough and you won't have a problem. Um, you may need something to cut the wire. I just used some tin snips. Uh, you're going to need a Phillips number two screwdriver. Got one on the end of these pliers here. You're going to need a set of pliers. You're going to need some wire strippers and a crimper, which are all on this tool, so you just use this. Um, you're also going to need two new female blade terminal um, connectors to do your repair. So um, I'm going to show you how to do that. What you do first is you just take your screwdriver, and along the side, there'll be two on one side and two on the other side, little holes. You undo those screws. And then this whole front place will pop off. Now what the wires go into are the multi-wattage uh, heater switch right here. You can get replacements for them on eBay around 12 bucks. I don't know if you can do them cheaper. I didn't do an extensive search. You can also repair, um, re find a replacement for the thermostat. I don't know about the heater down in here. I've never had one fail to where it needs replaced. I've never opened it up um, just because I didn't know if it was sealed or not. I'm, I'm assuming you could probably take that apart, but I've never had one fail to where I've had to take it apart, so I won't <laughs> until that happens. Anyway, so um, the first thing you're going to do after you get the top off, what I did was I, I cut the old wire from the side here. And then I took my pliers and I pushed this plastic plug wire receptacle out. I'm not going to do it now because it took me a while to do them. Bit of a weakling. So popped it out and um, undid the little, un comes open like a little clamshell. Doop, comes apart. And what it does is it just holds that crimped in there. Um, so you can't pull the wire out and you can't unplug it. Um, but so I opened it and then pulled it through the hole this way because I wasn't sure if these blade terminals on the wire like this would fit through the hole. It was easier for me to just cut it. But um, anyway, so then we take the new wire and um, I did take the sheathing off this front half, this front part here. Uh, because I couldn't get it to crimp back inside as easily as the old one came out. Um, so I did strip that, and it's just crimping these two wires right here instead. So now, on the old wire, this one here, I'll try and get it. See the lines on this side? That is the neutral side of the wire. And it was plugged in at this right here at the, which would be the top right hand side of the multi wattage on off switch. If you were looking at it from the up, for up and down position where it's supposed to be. And then the hot wire was plugged into the left bottom terminal. Um, so all you do was unplug those and they do, they are really hard to unplug if they're as old as this one is, and it's very old. But, so I unplugged it, and uh, both of them, 
threw the old card away. Yeah. And uh, strip your wires. Put your new blade terminal connector on there. Now, when I do replacements, I don't like to splice into wires. Um, I like to just completely replace the wire all together with new terminals. And um, that way I know it's new and I'm not going to have a problem with it coming undone or anything like that. It's all new. It's all been replaced um, for that part of the repair. And it just, for me, it's easier. And uh, yeah, so I did that. And I mean, that's all there is to it. It's, it's done. Um, so let me show you that she's all done and she works. So then you put that back on, plug your screws back in, screw your screws back in and plug in your new, plug in your new cord. Ta -da! And then, boop, boop. Yay. Now this, I'll wait a minute. So that you can hear the oil heating up. It takes a it takes about a minute. There you go. It's starting to bubble now. And there you go. There it went. It's getting loud now. Okay, so there you go. Old oil radiator heater. Plug replacement. Um, it's that easy. So uh Grab your tools and fix it up. Bye.